we were talking about COVID before we started recording. And, you know, I know when people are listening to the podcast going, oh, not, not another COVID, COVID again. <laughs> but, you know, I was saying that we were very lucky that our business excelled mm-hmm. during COVID uh, because we were essential workers. But everything stopped for you. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And it still hits me. Can you believe that? I, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was huge because everything I worked for, everything I worked very hard for was literally wiped out overnight in a space of 48 hours. And it was, it was hard, very hard. It still hits me. You can see that. Um, I guess like I, I, I'm definitely hormonal this week. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but it was like um, nothing prepared me for it. We, in 2020, we were going to have our busiest year ever in business. We had 40 sh- fashion shows cancel in a space of 48 hours. Wow. And what people don't realise, when you're self-employed, when you don't get work coming in, you don't pay the bills. And it's very simple. I'm entitled to nothing from the government. So I have to work for every euro I make. And that's the disadvantage about being self-employed as you know yourself um, but literally overnight and I went Jesus Christ what am I going to do and I remember on the Friday evening I sat down and we were having I, I, as a rule I try and have it that the five of us eat dinner together Jer and three kids and it's not that we're like the Brady Bunch because we're not but in saying that I find that half an hour sitting down eating dinner in the evening is the one time we actually chat with the kids what's gone on in your day and what's happened and we kind of get all the gossip at the table at the one time and no phones I'm very strict about phones being at a table Um, old fashioned as it may be but it's just just the policy we have and I remember the tears falling on my dinner plate and the kids just looking at me not knowing what to say and Jurgis is Mendy he says like you know things be fine and I'm going but Jesus Christ I says "We've, we've nothing left here it's gone and your baby it's like as if your my, my baby was literally taken away from me and then having to know wondering what's going to pay the mortgage next month and what's going to pay the car next month or whatever and then you're you're just thinking Jesus and I kind of went okay this is this is not good and you know, you're sitting down then filling out a COVID form to get 350 euro a week to keep a family of five of you going and you're thinking, Jesus, you know, anyways, but which I never claimed. I'm working since I'm 16 years old. Mm. I've never claimed benefit in my life. Not that there's anything wrong with it. And I know there's some yeah, people yeah, that can't yeah, help yeah. it and they have to do that, obviously. So it's not by any means being disrespectful on that by any means, but I'm working since I'm 16. So that was a huge knock. And then the following morning, I went to bed and the following morning I got up and I just said, OK, Randy, you're either going to go a slippy road here and go downhill or else do what you do. You're a fighter and get up and get on with it. And that's the route I went. 